Hey everybody, this is Eric from Sweetwater, and in this video, we'll cover how to scan and sort plugins inside of Cubase. Let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing we'll talk about is how to scan plugins. If you just installed an effects plugin or virtual instrument somewhere besides one of the default plugin locations, you'll need to add that path in Cubase so it can load. First, you'll wanna access the plugin manager screen. To do this, go up to Studio, then click VST Plugin Manager. Now that the Plugin Manager has been open, what you'll want to do is click the cog icon, and then after that, click the plus icon. Next, what you'll want to do is select the folder that your plugin is installed to, click Select Folder, and then click the Refresh button. All right, so now that we've scanned our plugins, the last thing we'll cover is how to sort them in your project. By default, Cubase sorts plugins and virtual instruments into two different categories. You actually have the ability to create your own custom plugin collections as well. This is really handy if you have a lot of plugins and just want to filter out unnecessary plugins during your project. So if you have certain plugins you always use for, let's say, rock projects, you can create a custom collection in which only those specific plugins can be viewed in the Inserts tab. Let's go ahead and create a custom collection from scratch. In the VST plugin window, click the plus icon, then select empty. Next, rename your plugin collection and go ahead and click OK. After that, all you need to do is select all of the plugins that you want to add and then drag them right over. To sort them even further, go up and click the folder icon, name it, and then go ahead and click OK. Once you've created that, select any of the specific plugins you want and drag them into the folder. Once you've created that collection, you can then go to the Inserts tab and then select any of the plugins that you just added. And there you go. That's how you scan and sort plugins inside of Cubase. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below and also be sure to check out the Sweet Care Knowledge Base and InSync blog for more information. Hope you have a great day, guys.